friends. Hope you're having a great day or night, whatever where you are. We here are looking at another three hours of fun with chess and psychology. Uh, GMPC seems to be a little bit hyped up. He's very, very running around hunting stuff. I don't know what he's hunting. If you hear that, write down. He's hunting a plastic bag. Um, I was looking at some Karpov games and I decided to show a little bit of Karpov love. This game was really cool. Uh, there was another cool game too, but I've recently shown, well not recently, within the last few months I've shown that to my Scholastic kids, so I didn't really want to make overlaps in case any of them are watching, but that game was also very pretty, pretty uh, Queen Sacrifice. This game is not exactly Queen Sacrifice, but still cool enough. All right, um, hello, hello, I'm seeing more people showing up, perfect, all right, uh, let me just refresh my page to make sure everything is good and ready, yep, all right, let's go ahead and get started. So, remember, I, uh, per usual, we are going to be looking at a game, um, if you're lucky to, and then switch it to Twitch after about an hour here, and we're going to start analyzing your game. So if you have any games, or if you're considering playing any game within the next hour, make sure to save that somewhere, so then we can go over those games together. Alright, well, that being said, let's go ahead and start looking in this lovely game. So, as you can see in the title, this is a Carpo versus a uh, Savon game. And let me just double check which year was that. Oh, yeah, this was 1971. Uh, yeah, 1971. And so, uh, yeah, I believe that Savon was the uh, that year's USSR champion and he had higher. Uh, LO or rating compared to Karpov and so that's probably why we'll see in the game that um, Karpov, the uh, Karpov's opponent, Savan played a little bit more aggressive. Um, Silva, uh, I think the, I, I believe the screen is not black because I'm watching myself on YouTube too. That's how I kind of get your chats. So. If you see my head going around, I'm not listening to breakdance music, which incidentally I would actually like to listen to some music. But let's go ahead. <laughs> All right. So we got some cool Roy Lopez going on. Uh oh, GMP is going for his food, which is empty. He's on a diet. And <laughs> all right. So uh, I believe this knight e4 is not exactly. Um, it is a little, yeah, a little on red. Let's see if I can lower it maybe a little audio. Uh, yeah, it keeps going on red probably because I have my um, laptop is giving out some cool noises. Let me maybe close in some applications, see if that helps. Okay, bye bye chess base. No need for chess base for now. Let's see, maybe I can get out of Skype and Telegram too. Probably a little better. Alright, uh, let's get back to Chrome. <laughs> uh, Red Lopez drawing less than 10 moves. Not necessarily. Also keep in mind that this was 70s, so the, um, the depth of the openings was not as uh, high and as computerish as it is today. So, okay. Um, yeah, so, so far so good, we are seeing a nice trend, and, okay, here actually is the first position that I wanted to uh, question you guys, so this is all theory, but if, so for those of you who play this, feel free to drop hints in the chat of what white wants to achieve, what black wants to achieve, how do you see this um, next few move escalating, yeah, I recently started doing the move escalate, and I kind of find it interesting enough. Uh, I've had to write so much application stuff. Oh my god, it never ends. Like, last five months of my life, technically six, 
I feel like I've just been writing applications after applications after applications. Oh. It's like the same thing, but you have to perfect it, then you have to trim it down to 600 characters or less, space included. And then you can add more experiences, then you have to combine the experiences. Ah. Yeah, so glad to have you guys here so I can vent slightly as well. Hi, Jim, Pish Pish. Nope, he did not want it. Okay, so, any suggestions? So far, I don't see anything in the chat, but if you can just, you know, give me a little idea of how do you see White's pieces developing, the future of these pieces, the future of these pieces, probably. It's gonna be short castle, so that's not the deep question. Well, where do you see this bishop? I've actually been to St. Petersburg um, once, yeah, in 2015. Yeah, I really liked it. It was very gorgeous. I don't remember. I remember it was a Chigorin memorial. Yeah, so this bishop can be on e7, can be on c5. It kind of depends. I, I believe it kind of depends on how sharp black wants this game to be. Um, how about white? Where is white trying to... Uh, get his pieces out. So the one thing is like this knight c3 is a big no-no. This bishop here is not as useful as we want it to be, so potential relocating. And I believe this idea of a4 in long run could come in handy. We're not entirely sure about the bishop just yet. I'm assuming e3 looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see. This knight is the one that I'm not quite sure about where it's gonna go. But I mean, in short term, I think something like this. But after that, kind of like still up in the air. Yeah, thank you, and Jay fan. Well, I'm gonna quote one fact that uh, about Anatoly Karpov is that he always thought about why his opponents made that move. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, this, so I feel like this pushing and this knight coming out of here and this bishop probably going to e3 is a good start. So let's just go. So now we have our first move, c3. I think maybe bishop e3 is also possible, takes away the bishop c5 ideas, and then you can do this, but um, you also have to realize whenever you do this knight d2, this, it's, I, mean, I guess it's also possible, it kind of uh, forces black to play bishop e7, but you don't know when you want to play this bishop e3. If you know for sure you want to play bishop e3 right away, then do it. But more, uh, most of the time it's easier to start with c3 to kind of fix these pawn movements. Now with bishop c5, now you get your knight out, because no more bishop e3, right? Now, after getting a knight out, castle, now, now what? We don't exactly want to take over here, because even if you try to do all this cool stuff, it's not really gonna be a good choice because at the end of the day that pawn is going to be eek, or as best as I could make that sound. Um how about bishop getting to e5? Uh legally? So no, I don't wanna take that right away. But I'm open to bringing more pressure on it. What do you think about that? Can we try to bring in some pressure for here? Knight to d4 at the end of that line. Uh, the e5 pawn is still pretty weak. That's an issue that we can't just let it slide by. Hopefully. I like 
like bishop c2 yeah i think uh bishop c2 is like so the ideas of trying to get rook e1 getting the knights involved all of these are valid but at the moment this is better just trying to activate the pieces that we know how is a better choice But sometimes it can be very, very tricky to make those decisions. All right, so bishop c2, uh, bishop f5 defending this knight's uh, weaknesses. Now what? Are we going to take that? Ideally, we don't want to take that. Ideally, we want the choice to still be present. Um, and we want to be able to actually develop, we don't want to just take stuff. Especially because if we take, then opponent's um, pawn structure is going to be much stronger. Not really, we don't want to take this. We take it, he takes the pawn. Even if we try to be all the way cool, we're just going to lose this pawn. Uh, if we try to take this first maybe, or if we just be like, you know what, this is a nice pin, I'm just going to develop my bishop, it's okay, but bishop g6, black still does hold, um, holds, not necessarily any advantage for anybody, but black just holds, we don't exactly want that. Yeah, knight b3. I like that. Instead of taking, just knight b3. We have a more serious threat. This is pinned. Me like it. Now, bishop g6. Now, finally, this knight d4 that was suggested so much earlier. Keep in mind, taking on here is not exactly ideal because it simply take and then take over here. That's free bishop. So, after knight d4, uh, black simply took white takes and black went for a5 now this move might seem a little aggressive and it's a good idea to keep in mind that yes black does want to try to win this game because as i mentioned earlier black is the one who is a little bit um upper hand um because of the rating and current ussr champion back in 1971 so knowing that it uh, makes sense that black is trying to you know be um be more mm, i don't want to say active more maybe hopeful uh, try its chances yeah i think that's a better wording yes pc i understand you you're not a big fan of this position all right so after a5, what do you think white should do? Removing the defender... Um, yeah, I like that we got rid of this bishop, honestly. This is a cool outpost too, but the main question is, shall we take this? I don't know, it's a little fuzzy on whether or not we should take this, at least at the moment. There is no need to take it. Not sure if you heard that, but that would be His Royal Highness meowing a little. What do you want, Fish Fish? I think it's a little bored. Sometimes it just gets bored and there's nothing I can do about it. It just has to work through it. I like the suggestion of trying to push for a4. Maybe not right now because a4 you also give up this b5 square, b4 square. What about your bishop? What do you think we should do with this guy?
It should up to G5. I mean, ideally, but there are a bunch of stuff trying to eat it, so no, 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 not yet at least. Uh oh. Angry kitty. Yeah, I like Bishop E3. Normal, simple, you're trying to attack this, I'm gonna defend it. If you try to push for a4 now, then I can just go back to c1 and come from a different angle. Easy peasy. In the game, um, Black just went for a knight b4. We like this bishop, we're gonna keep this bishop, now he went for a4. Now, what should we do with this knight? We have three potential choices. What do you guys think? Should Where do you guys think this knight should go? C1, C5, D2, well those are the three choices. So I think c1 would be interesting, honestly, trying to get to d3. However, Karpov chose knight to d2. And because this knight has been pushed around so long, it's a little just frustrating, honestly. Now, uh, I feel like knight c1 could have had more interesting ideas, but after a3, then you would have to kind of play like b3, and then c5 can come along. Black gets a lot more active than I'm comfortable with, so I like this knight d2 because it keeps some pressure on this position instead of just letting black do whatever they, he wants. So, knight d2, and here black went for a3. Now what do we do with this guy? Shall it be take? Shall we push? Should we defend it? Let's see how, let's see like, so let's say these are my three choices. What do you think we should do? And PC meowing is not one of them. Come on, boy. No, I don't like queen b3 simply because take, take, and then this knight can just go back, and this is weak. Pieces are very, very unorganized. I don't like that. Um, how about queen c1? I don't like b3 either because just knight c3. You gotta move this queen, let's say you go to f3, and then this can fall, you take that, and then knight b c2 can come up. Eek. No, no, no. So b3 is off. Take so we're between taking and queen c1, I see. So we're I'm not, I mean, I feel like taking might also, uh, maybe, but first of all, take with the rook is an issue. 
now because when you take with the rook this knight c3 still exists so let's say you play queen c1 now the queen can just jump before behind this and black does i think black is much more comfortable in this position than white is does it how do we like that do we agree with that because black does feel quite more, much more comfortable, honestly. So let's go back. So we're only kind of left with one choice of queen c1. We are simply defending this poor guy. But, yeah. Um, we're, we still honestly do want to take this, given the choice. So let me ask you, what do you think is the best move for black? It's not taking because if take just the queen takes and everything kind of feels very wobbly. This queen on the queen side is very good. Then we can also choose to do like a knight b3 or even like a pawn push. We have a bunch of different stuff to do. So what do we think? No, not necessarily resign. I think this rook a6 is quite interesting, but I don't think it's the best one. I think maybe knight takes d2 would be more interesting. Then the queen would have to take it, and then you would try c5, because if now you take it, then knight can go back and start uh, dreaming about stuff. Alright, I think knight d2 would have been the most uh, interesting or weird one for us, but we were quite, uh, I don't want to say lucky, probably just um, better prepared. Yeah, let's go with that. We were better prepared on this and didn't really allow that, you know, mind games, I'm kidding. Uh, why does the queen have to take the knight? Well, if you take it to the bishop, it's possible, but then knight d3 could be annoying. And uh, then you would take this, take that, and then you'd have to play with the rook. Now, this black has a little bit better momentum, kind of wins that area. You could take now, you could bring your queen in, get in, involved. There's a lot of more, um, more, uh, I feel like it's more out there. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, well, black ended up doing rook a6. Now what should we do? Sh is it time for us to consider taking or should we st take something else in the center? What do you guys think? Uh, kicking it with f3 is not exactly the move because can make sure to think what black wants. What do you guys think black wants right now? There is this kind of a simple-ish idea that black really wants to do. What do you think that is? Telling you, black does have something quite interesting. Anything. Anything to attack, potentially? I guess anyone to attack? Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. Rook c6. And this queen is going to be in a pickle. Because if you move it, then whoops. If you don't move it, well, you can't exactly block it. Like bishop c2. Eesh, no, no. So, queen c1. Rook a6. Now we know why rook a6 was played, which we should have known previously, but hey, better late than never. Now what? What do you think we should do as white? Yeah, I think it's time to take this. It's getting too dangerous. Now, um... Rook c6, we gotta go up there. And black played knight c2. What do we think about this? Keep in mind, taking it is possible, but it will result in knight taking over here. If you take this, then rook can take it over here. If you decide to take this, oh, no, no, no. If you decide to take this guy, then knight f1 could happen, and black does hold... Um, Hold the equality, I want to mm, with the good chances. Let's go with that. I don't like the word equality. Yeah, black does hold pretty good chances. So, knight c2. Now, what should we do? c1 interesting why do you think rook c1 okay trying to pin it okay i can live with that um let's see anything else you are considering Kind of like a one last hurrah before we move it on. Alright, uh, queen b5 I think could be interesting if it wasn't for rook b6. Because now when rook b6 you steer queen feels too out there and then this can happen and then you take that and then this happens and then this is under attack and if you take it he can just take it to the rook and then the rook goes over there and uh, so many things. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like that. So I don't like queen b5 but I do like rook c1 so good job at rook c1. Um, now after this rook c1 we played sorry black can play take now taking on a1 doesn't make as much sense because we just take it over here and this is also falling so taking on c3 makes more sense because take now black thought that there is a cool tactic here and he took over here what do you think is this working for black Does this feel like this is working for black? What do you think white should do now? Hello Arvin. Taking on g6, not necessarily possible, but not necessarily.
It is wise to move, yes. I feel like it, the problem is that taking, there is this knight d1, so that's the one, kind of like only thing to be mindful of. Pawn grabbing with queen b5. Eh, questionable, mainly due to if you keep this knight here, it's just gonna keep on um, in Farsi. It's like we have a good expression like aspect of Takimizana. Wait, that's her. But like, it's like kind of like um, kicks you with his back, le back legs. But I don't know how to translate that actually. If any of my Farsi people here can translate that, I would appreciate it. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Essa. How do you translate that? Yeah, I'm having a little translational issues. Alright, but yeah, that's kind of the general idea. We can't, we need to get rid of these pieces quickly. So if we can take them, what else can we do with them? Oh, torn on your side. I guess that could work, honestly. Thank you. Yeah, knight f1 to trade this bad boy. These knights are too strong. If I can take them, the least of all I can tra um, exchange them. Alright, I like this, yeah. I think this is the best way to go about it. Now, in the game, uh, Black actually played Queen D7. We took over here, he resigned because uh, this game was kind of very carp of style because White kind of destroyed opponents with a series of very quiet moves. I really like that idea. And especially on the back rank. So I remember like this Queen C1, this Rook C1, this Knight F1, all of these cool ideas. Yeah, they were pretty cool. Alright, um, I am gonna take a second a load a, a carp of wool. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh... Load a carp of style puzzle because we finished this slightly faster than I oh, oh, intended. Alright, so this puzzle is extremely famous, so if you already know it, no problem, uh, but if you don't, that's okay. That's why we're here. If you already knew everything, then we wouldn't need to get together, right? I'll go back to it after this this one's done. Sorry, kind of jumped it. Jumped the gun? Jumped it? Oh. It is carp of time, so let's enjoy this cool carp of game well, um, position. It's more of a, like, it, it, this game is very soon gonna be wrapped up.
Honestly, uh, most of the time I agree resigning is not necessarily the best course of action, but there are times that you're just like, uh uh, I'm doing this. So, if you can pull that off, actually. Any suggestions for this one? This is our beloved Karpov. We can do this. Come on, guys. F5 I think is interesting, but I'll give you a little hint, uh, F5 is something that can come up later, but trading rooks, so do you mean we take it or do we kind of persuade opponent to take it? Yeah, rook d6 to persuade. Remember, outposts usually are uh, very much desired for the knights, but right now our knight can't get there. Doesn't mean we can't use it for other pieces. Also, I'm very much digging this cup. So far, I thought I could only use it for cold stuff, but I recently realized no, I can also use it for hot beverage so I also did something bad very very bad I um, made the mistake of treating myself to a ginormous box of 30 different flavor tea oh I've been doing like two tea bags a day it's very addictive <laughs> yeah we do like our tea, that is true. Yeah, I got all these different flavors from a Russian, I believe, um, tea company, Greenfield. I've, I've, I remember them since I was in Russia, they had very few memorable teas that I've been ordering, Amazoning since forever, but I've, after I saw I got all A's, that was kind of my treat. I got myself big box of chocolate and big box of tea. Actually, I got a big box of coffee too, but that will arrive next month. <laughs> yeah, so that's not a problem. See, thank you. Actually, knight c8 is the wrong, and I want you to tell me why knight c8 is wrong. Knight c8 is like very, very wrong. Okay, um, yeah, exactly, rook c6. And if you take, I'll just take that and I'll be eating this. 
However, if you decide to not play like knight, knight c8, and if you just take it, uh, I would simply take back, and then uh, I kind of like converted this uh, um, advantage of having an outpost to having a pass pawn and an open file, and now f5 is coming up. So if you decide to go something like maybe queen d7, now I have options such as knight a5 so to attack over here, or uh, kind of also like trying f5. Knight goes away, then knight c5. If you take it, then I'll take over here. Now this is a weak one that's gonna fall. So yeah, that was another one. I am a little hesitant on showing this next Karpov game, but we have time, so I'm gonna take a second to load that as well. Uh, yeah, today we're doing more than we usually do. I like it. What about this one? And for those of you who are interested, I can share the link on Leeches with you after the class. I do have a microphone. Is my voice still coming a little shaky? Oh, I wanted to, I was supposed to address something in the last one. Ooh. Ah. Uh, too late. Sorry. I will do it right after this one. I was excited to share more games. Oops. Of course, I'll I'll be sure to share the link as soon as we are done here. Cause I remember how frustrating it can be. Like you know the position, but you like you don't remember exactly where you've seen it. So. It is white to move. Black has just played. This rook to g8 and this move 40. So, actually, I don't know if there was extra time on move 40. Let me read into this. White does have pretty cool space advantage on king side, right? But everything in like black camp seems to be in order too. There's only one open file, there's a good fight going on along it. I think something like f6 could be interesting to consider. These are the moves to be aware of. But they're also gonna expose white's king, not just black's king, so... Let's see, what else? I think this knight, could, this pawn could also be a nice target for the knight, but not at the moment at least. The moment that does not seem very likely to be happening. No, this is not the time to push pawns. Not, nope, nope, uh-uh. Not the time. 
Maybe in a little bit it will be time, but not right now. Right now it is not the time. Moving king, nope, not that. I'll give you a hint, it's it's not a king move or a rook move. I'll give you that hint. All right, let's see if I can drop any other hints without giving up the move. So if I try to open up the queen side, he's just gonna play a5 either. Trying to attack this bunch of times is not exactly the right way too, so don't try to move the knight just yet. So now the question is, what if we try to combine all three of these ideas? Trying to combine opening up the king side, opening up the attacking on c5, and potentially this a3. So we want to do stuff on h file, queen side, and that f6 g6 idea. How can we combine them all? Bishop h5, interesting, but not exactly. Not the right move for the bishop. If you play bishop h5, I think something like f6 might be unpleasant, but it looks pretty good, I agree. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably give you guys another minute. It's not queen b2. You're going the wrong way with the queen. That should kind of give it up, but yeah. Did I give it up completely? So the move is indeed queen d1. We're gonna try and bring the queen to the queen to the king side while still maintaining that cool relationship with the king, so with the queen side. So we want we want it all. We want the king side, we want the queen side. We are being very greedy right now. And that's good. Why not? We deserve it. Yeah, so queen d1 is the best one. And then we're going to follow it up with... So here, black played um, king d8. Now, as white, we are going to continue. Honestly, here, something like queen g1 is also pretty cool and that's actually what um, white played too because remember this idea of attacking over on c5 is something that we considered uh, we kind of thought about it with queen going to f2 previously but now looking at it deeper with queen on g1 what do you think about that Anything from here? <laughs> too deep. I agree, it's a little too deep. Uh, okay, so queen e one better than queen d3 because drug exchange question. Um, no, queen d1 is better because we want to get the queen to the queen side. To the king side. Yeah, so we got the queen to the king side. Now what? Not right now, bishop h5. But... So... Because mainly because it's um, white, it's black to move. Now black played this knight b6. The thing is that um, Karpov 
doesn't necessarily need to stay on the back rank. So now he can try and double slash triple stuff up in the king in this super cool file. So that's another idea. So now um, queen moves to e7, trying to still keep this over here. Maybe knight goes back to defend it if need be. Finally, knight b3, bringing more stuff to attack this. Uh, queen h1 would have been uh, okay too, but then there's like queen f8, take, take, and black can Black kind of got this file. We don't necessarily need to give it up, and I don't think it, we should. So let's keep the tension. So, knight b3, and king c7. Now, Rebel, how can we... Um, where do you think is the best place to put the king to be able to get the queen involved here? King g3, eh, not exactly. F3, yeah, let's go to F3. King G3, I think the, the issue is that I just, it just, I don't like that my king can be so vulnerable. That bugs me. I don't think there is any, like, logical, like, move-wise, like, if I do this, he's gonna do that. I don't think there's anything, like, it's just, like, the fact that there are different things working against my king really does bug me. So, let's not do that. King f3. Now we are attacking this by three stuff. He's only defending it by two, so he brings the knight to defend it by three. So let's keep let's take a look at this position and then go back and take a look at the initial position. If I can click on it. Come on, let me click on it. So what do you think has changed? This king kind of ran over up here, we got the knight a little higher, we got the rook a little more involved, and the queen a little bit to the um, queen side, the uh, king side, right? A5 can't be played, fair point. The other rook's still not participating, I agree with that. So remember, one of the plans that we had at the beginning was to try to do this a3, but the problem was a5. Thank you, Sydney. Yep, a3. Now, after a3, since there's no more a5s, this is going to be good for us because the king just came up here, so opening up this side is good. Take, and now what do we do? Keep remembering, the king is in the queen side, so now we want to do stuff in the queen side. So we got to bring our pieces. How do we get our pieces in the queen side? immediately hi Brian yeah rock a2 there we go Mm -hmm. And after this rook a2, our idea is that we are just going to keep pressure over here. And this rook h2 was kind of cool because we got to swap it to the queen side. Now black tries with rook h4, but we eat it over here. Then black tries to play like rook h8, but that doesn't exactly help either. We can simply just bring this rook over here. Now knight a5 coming up too, if you try to bring it back. Now what do we do? Now what piece can be improved? These two are cool, this bishop is eh, okay, can't really do much with it. This bishop is good, this knight is good. What piece can we bring around?
Yep, queen e1. Oops. Ah, yes, queen e1. Oh, wrong way. So after queen e1, we get the chance to get this queen involved as well. Uh, Black was just like, yeah, this is too gone. He took over here. Thank you. He played bishop c8. Check, and he resigned. Even if he tries something like rook b6, I have a cool little tactic. Take. I can take this. You take it back. I'll just take over here. And this is super winning. If you take it to the bishop, now I can take, take, and just c5 it. Kind of a massacre. Yep. How does that look? Everybody happy? Well, I guess black's not happy, but everybody except for the player who played this game as black. Everybody happy? Alright, if everybody is happy, we are gonna take a short break and do our segment of Switch to Twitch. And I'm gonna go refill my tea, make sure everything is set for Twitch. I'll see, you, uh, I'll see everybody there in about 10, maybe 15 minutes. And yes, we're gonna do the analyzer games. Yep. I just need more fuel. And I need to hug the His Majesty GMP for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Alright, everybody. I'll see you soon. Uh, make sure to have your games ready. Just meet me there in 10 ish minutes. And what's Twitch? Uh oh. Uh, let me also figure out how to share this link because I. Let me type this in here, leeches.org slash study slash Alright, let me know if this link works, if not I'll share it more. But yeah, um, join us on Twitch, Twitch is another platform that we frequently stream on. If you haven't seen us there, make sure to do it so. We stream uh, much more frequently on Twitch, I believe. Uh, link of Twitch, just go on Twitch and look for STL Chess Club. Yeah, make sure to go on Twitch and look for STL Chess Club. And alright guys, I'll see you there shortly. Have a great rest of your evening.